Hey guys, this is Pawan. Welcome to Technical Knowledge Family. In this video, we'll try to learn find command in Unix. But before learning find command in Unix, if you really want to grow in your IT career and if you want to crack the interviews for multinational companies, then kindly subscribe to our channel Technical Knowledge. We'll keep on posting these technical and non-technical videos that will be helpful for you to grow in your IT career and that will also be helpful for you to crack the interviews for multinational IT companies. Okay, so without wasting any time, let's try to learn find command in Unix. In my every Unix command video, I always say that if you really want to learn any of the command in Unix, first of all, the basic syntax should be clear. So first, let's try to understand the basic syntax of find command. Then it will be easy for you to understand the find command. First of all, we use the find command to locate a file. If you want to find some file or some directory in the Unix, then we use a find command. Okay, so what is the syntax of find command? Find of course, and the second argument is path list. So you have to specify the path in which directory you want to locate the file or in which directory you want to find the file. And then and then you have to specify your selection criteria and then you have to give the action. What action you want to perform if you find the file. Okay. So what is our first requirement? The first requirement is find out all the file naming employee from the root directory itself and print the name on the screen itself. Okay, so what will be the command? First of all, you need to give find and then you need to specify your path where you want to search for that file. Okay, and then you have to use the option called hyphen name and you have to give the particular pattern the name of the file and then at last I want to perform an action. What is my action? My action is print. So I want to print that file. Okay. So here if you want to break up this command find this is your path. This is your selection criteria hyphen name employee and then finally I am performing my action that is print. So let us try to run this command on putty itself. Putty is nothing but a terminal which connect to your Unix server. So let's copy that command and paste it on the putty terminal itself. What is the command? Find and then my directory in which directory I am and I want to search for the file called employee. So I have to specify the option hyphen name and I have to give my pattern inside the inverted cot employee and a star. Star means after employee it can be anything any character and finally I am giving that action called hyphen print. So it is giving me two files that in my directory we have two files called employee.txt and employee underscore data dot load dot log file. Alright. So this is our first requirement. And if you want to find the file with some pattern with some name. So you will be using this option. Now what is our next requirement? Our next requirement is I want to find out all the files with the extension dot C. So whatever file you have in your Unix system with .c extension, you want to find only those files. So what will be the command? The command will be find and I am searching in my current directory. We have a specific requirement that we want to search for that file in the current directory itself. So that is why instead of giving a complete path itself, I am just giving a single dot. Single dot means it will be searching for that particular file in the current directory itself. And after that, I have my option called hyphen name. And inside the pattern, inside the double inverted cot, I have to give star dot C. That means whatever files which are having with the dot C extension, it will find for those files. And finally, my action that is called print. So let us just copy that command and paste it in the putty itself. So in this particular directory, we have three files program.c, trim.c and palindrome.c. Okay, so this was our second requirement where we want to find the files with the .c extension. Now what is our next requirement? Our next requirement is find out all the files in the current directory itself whose name starts with an uppercase letter. Okay, just make sure that you are finding the files in the current directory itself. Okay. So what will be the command find of course a dot for the current directory the option selection criteria hyphen name and if you want to search for a file which starts with a uppercase letter so you have to give this pattern inside the inverted cot 
inside the bracket you specify a dash and then z and then a star after your first upper case letter it can be anything okay and finally my action that is called hyphen print let us just copy that command and run that command into putty itself so it is giving me all the files so it is finding all the files which starts with the upper case letter all the files which are available over here or all the files which unix system has find these files in the current directory they are starting with the upper case letter all right now what is our next requirement our next requirement is find out all the directories in the current directory only directory not file so that is quite a practical requirement that i do not want to see the file names i only want to see what are the directories available in the current directory only so for that what will be the command find of course and i want to search all the directory in the current directory that is why we have given a dot and if you only want to specifically search for a directory then there is one more option available in the find that is called hyphen type and if you want to search for a directory you have to give d and if you only want to search for a file then you have to give f all right and finally my action that is hyphen print so let us copy that command and let us run that command so it is giving me all the directory name because we have specify option hyphen type d so if you want to see the files only but not the directory then we can manipulate this command the command will be find dot for the current directory hyphen type and instead of d you have to specify f and then finally i can give my action called print so it is giving me all the file name okay it is not giving me the directory name now at the last we are using the hyphen print for my action right so instead of hyphen print i can give hyphen ls that will be more practical right so what will be the command find dot hyphen type f and instead of hyphen print i'm just giving hyphen ls so if i give hyphen ls and if i press enter then it is giving me all the file name in the long listing format you can check the name of the file you can check the modified time or the access time of the file and you can check the file permission also over here so that is more a practical use case if you use hyphen ls instead of a hyphen print okay so now what is our next requirement so the next requirement is find out all the files which are modified in last two days quite a practical requirement that you only want to see those files which are modified in last two days so what will be the command the command will be find and a dot for the current directory and the operator that you have to use in your selection criteria is hyphen m time hyphen m time means it will give you the modified time and hyphen 2 means it will give you the file which has been modified in last two days and finally we are using hyphen print as an action right let us copy that command and let us run so it is giving you all the files and directories which has been modified in last two days that too in a long listing format because in the action you have given hyphen ls right that command now what is our next requirement the next requirement is find out all the files which has not been accessed in last 30 days which has not been accessed in last 30 days so for this what will be the command the command will be find and here we are giving the directory in which we want to search the file and right now in the selection criteria we are giving operator as hyphen a time so in the previous command we have used the operator as hyphen m time that is last modified time and here in this command we are using operator as hyphen a time that is last access time all right and that too we want to see the file which has not been accessed since last 30 days so instead of minus 30 we are giving plus 30 so the file which has not been accessed except last 30 days for that you need to give plus 30 let us copy that command and let us run this command so this file was last accessed on 8th of april and right now it is 7th of july right so i hope this requirement is quite clear so here you need to understand if we have given plus 30 that means greater than 30 days the file which has been accessed greater than 30 days 
and if you want to see the file which has been exist in last 30 days you have to give minus 30 and if you want to give exact 30 days the file which has been exactly exist in 30 days so you have to give 30 hyphen a time 30 okay so what is our next requirement our next requirement is display all the files which has been modified in last one day and whose name is employees underscore data underscore load so it's a very practical requirement i have been using this command in my project itself let me give you a very practical scenario let's suppose you're working in your qa environment or you're working in your production environment and you have run a process and you want to check the log file now in your QA environment or in your production environment there are a lot of files available and if you search the file with ls-lrt command then it will search in the entire directory in your entire current directory and let's suppose that if your files available for last two years and three years then it will take a lot of time to show that file especially in your QA and production environment right so to reduce the time span to find a file what we can do is we can give the hyphen m time option with minus one that means it will only search for the file which has been modified in last one day all right this is a very practical requirement so if you're searching for your log file in your production directory or in your qa directory that will give you the output very fastly so it is the very best option to go with the find command to search for a log file rather than go with the ls hyphen lrt command that will minimize your time like anything okay and at last we have given in the action hyphen ls to see the file in the long listing format let us copy that command and let us run that command so it has given me my file which is employee underscore data dot log dot log file and with the timestamp you can see that this file has been modified in last one day all right so i hope this practical requirement is quite clear now what is our next requirement our next requirement is find and copy all the files in some other directory which has not been accessed for more than a year so that is a quite practical requirement that if any unique system admin if they want to clean up the system then they can just search for those files which have not been accessed since last one year and they can just move those files into some safe directory right so what will be the syntax find we are finding in the current directory that is why we have a dot hyphen type f that means we are only searching for the file and then we have given option called hyphen a time that is last access time and we have given plus 365 so it will only search for those files which have not been accessed since last 365 days all right now in the action we are not giving hyphen ls or hyphen print here in the action itself what we are giving is hyphen exec that is execute so we want to execute something what we want to execute we want to execute mv command mv command we use just to move the files all right and after that we have given curly braces what is that curly braces these curly braces known as placeholder that will hold your file and then it will move the file into this target directory in this case my target directory is safe okay this is the name of the directory and after that you need to give a space and a backward slash and a semicolon as i written in the slide always put a backward slash and a semicolon at the end of your hyphen ok or hyphen exact action now what is hyphen ok action we'll try to understand that also but it is just a syntax that if you are using hyphen exec or hyphen ok command at the last you have to put this backward slash and the semicolon right so let's try to run this command what exactly we are trying to achieve is we are trying to find the file whose access time is more than 365 days and finally we are moving that file into the target directory okay and instead of exec command we are using hyphen ok command so it will be asking to you that are you really want to move that file so it is asking me whether you want to move the file or not then you just press y to give a confirmation and press an enter key now your file have been moved to the save directory now we can go to the save directory and we can check whether our file is moved or not
and you can see this math.txt file is moved into the save directory we can also check in the my directory also the file should not be there because we have moved the file and see the math.txt file is not available into my directory okay now what is our last requirement our last requirement is that find and remove all the ordinary file which have not been accessed since last more than a year okay so the command will be same find and a dot hyphen type f and the access time is plus 365 and we want to remove the file okay for that we are using hyphen ok operation it is always recommended that you use hyphen ok option specifically if you are going for removing a file because by mistakenly if you have removed a very important file then it will be a problem for you so always go with the hyphen ok option unix system will always ask you whether you want to remove that file or not and this curly braces is just a placeholder which will be holding your file and at last if you are using hyphen ok operation or a hyphen exec operation it is a syntax that you need to specify a backward slash and a semicolon right and what is written over here after the curly braces there is a space here you have to give a space let us just run this command you can see in this directory we have a file maths.txt we just have to run this command now it is asking me whether you want to remove the file just give y and press enter that file is removed if you can just take a listing and you won't be finding any file in this directory all right so i hope you have liked the video if you want to learn any other command like scd command awk command grab command va editor i have given the link in the i button and i have also given the link in the description box you can check those link in the description box and you can learn the other command and if you really want to grow in your it career or if you want to crack the interviews in the multinational companies then kindly subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon your subscription will definitely motivate us to create more such videos which will be helpful for you to grow in your career till then be safe stay at home keep learning keep smiling until we meet again this is pavan signing off